Welcome to the eighth draft, eighth game, eighth spring game. So we'll draft the uh, green and white first. So here's how we do it, okay? Here's how we do it. You got first pick, okay? We open that position up. We got to draft out the position. Yeah. Um, we'll take Connor Cook. Okay, Connor Cook goes to the white. Uh, we just feel like, you know, his experience, uh, the way he leads the offense is so important out there. And, uh, just having a guy with a swagger out there like that uh, is going to be so special. I, I think Curtis can attest to that being a DB that uh, uh, Connor Cook is a good first pick. One thing we wanted to do, even if they got the first pick, we knew the first pick was going to be Connor. We knew it was going to be Connor. So once we got the two, the next two selections of the positions, we like, okay, we need a corner. We definitely need, we definitely need to draft Trey. And that was one of our strategies. Draft, I mean, Trey and Shalik was one of our top strategies. Corners. They open up corners. Okay. Taking Trey Wayne's. Trey Wayne. Oh, uh, we're taking Shalik at home. Shalik. Yes! <laughs> oh, Shalik's here. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to open up the tackles and we're going to take Conklin. Uh, it was hard, but uh, like you said, uh, we've been going over this for last month now. Uh, me and Travis have been talking about it, uh, consulting back and forth. And uh, I think today we, we came out with what we wanted. Uh, we, we drafted a solid team. Uh, we have many athletes on this team. and. Uh, me and Travis were sometimes come down to some tough decisions, but I uh, let him make the tough decisions because he's the smarter one in the, out of the two. So uh, I think Travis did a good job today. A lot, a lot of long nights around the table, you know, yeah. Like yeah. deep arguments. It, yeah. But, you know, we came down to our final decision, and we're excited about the white team. He's the next best player. Of, why would you skip him up? I feel like we a real balanced team. Like we, have, we have competitive players in each position that played a lot in that experience and that's going to be hungry to go out there and show the world what they can do. So that's one thing I feel about our team. Curtis, I think we're good. Let's have a close. Let's get out of here. You touched on a little something I heard uh, through the grapevine. Curtis, Curtis Drummond said something about a 46 nothing blowout. I think Curtis lost his mind and I think he's way off. And uh, all I'm saying is that the green team's come out on top. I predict we're going to win and I don't really do too much trash talking so you know. I'd Tell watch. Curtis we'll we, we see at the end of the game. Tell Curtis I want him to cook my steak himself. <laughs> I'm sure when he said it, if you look into his eyes, you could tell that he didn't believe what he was saying. Um, he's, he's just a guy that's trying to uh, give headline talk in the newspaper, so uh, we're not worried about him. Yeah, he'll understand after the game why he's eating beans and we're have our steaks uh, medium well. Uh, we got guys that want to win, guys that are ready to win, and guys that are going to win.